of folks, welcome back to Ultrazilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Slubin Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger. So what is this? <laughs> this is a brick toy. If you didn't see my speed build of it, please check it out. And uh, it was quite a hassle. <laughs> um, for the most part, actually, it went pretty well to build. Um... I, you know, like, the directions were really clear until I got to the plasma cannon, um, gravity sling or whatever it is, um, and then it was just not good, it was not right, but, you know, for the most part, I have to say it's been good, it's been a good reference book because this dude has fallen apart. Quite a bit, so, and it's when I got to this, when I put it all together for the first time, uh, that I did say, yeah, and then this, these directions were not so hot, in my opinion. So, there's that. Um, yeah, this guy, uh, when I put him together, fell apart really badly, uh, and then kind of stopped my... <laughs> speed build uh and then it fell apart again that was a terrible night a few nights ago of putting this guy back together twice and the second time was a real disaster because i hit the floor and boom lots of pieces shattered apart and unfortunately i've actually had to change my current uh setup because um i had my the board that was here before this white board it has been on the side kind of giving me some more white balance and then but it's big and thick and heavy it's a real drafting board it fell and luckily as far as I can tell so far nothing else because I have a lot of toys here my desk was damaged by it but it, this guy took the brunt of it and this was just before filming this so I spent um, quite a bit of time, like, putting this back together, uh, so, yeah, I, which was good, because it made me realize the, the feet were actually a little bit wrong, the way I put them on, and there was, like, just a couple extra parts that I think I understand a little better this time. Now, I'll have, to, I'll say this. Um, that second time it fell apart, like it made me realign a few things actually for the better because this guy, and a major fault here, well, besides it's like very finicky and this is not Lego. Slubin is a, I believe, a Chinese, um, brick toy manufacturer and I think from what I have been able to gather, this is actually a licensed toy out there. Um, you know, it's been found around with like really nice boxes and, you know, all the proper, I don't know, <laughs> notes that makes it seem, you know, official. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm going with. Um, yeah, so it's not Lego, you know, so it's not like, not that I have much experience with Lego, but from what I'm told, Lego doesn't have like a ton of QC where, you know, like some of the bricks don't want to stay together very well. Like, my major problem with this guy lies right in here. I mean, it's really hard to see here, but it's a little gappy, and right down there is a little gappy. This piece does not want to, this like front piece does not want to stay on both the top and the bottom. I'm going to have to do, play around with it a little bit more when I have more patience for it. <laughs> I just want it this part done for now and i'm gonna be like kid gloving this guy because yeah yeah things do fall apart really easy i'm definitely gonna be taking the crackle to it uh without a doubt um this guy needs glue in certain spots to hold pieces together and not like articulated pieces or anything just you know like the parts i'm talking about didn't do it yet because i really want to show you um you know the problems i had with it and possible problems if it like falls apart. So yeah, this part right here, I'm not gonna press it on too much because I don't want it to fall apart quite again. But you can see, it's not quite catching back there, and it should. 
So yeah, I don't know. It's just so one of these pieces a little warped. I think it's this one right here. So there's that. Now, I got this on AliExpress for $18.99 shipped. That's pretty good. This guy is really big. He's really good looking. There's no doubt about that. Um, I really like it a lot, actually. I mean, all the problems I've had, <laughs> notwithstanding, I do like it. You know, and the build, I got to say, you know, I'm, I don't really build anything. Um, I've said that before. I don't do model kits, even though I have one or two here. Uh, and as well as Lego, I have uh, General Grievous I've never built. Um, and I might do so now because to tell you the truth, it was kind of relaxing. It took me like a couple nights uh, and a, most of a day, <laughs> daytime. So I don't know. It took me a little while to build. I'm not very fast. Plus I was filming. So, you know, there's that. So let's do some size comparisons because I want to show you guys how big this guy is. Let's start with a NECA figure. This is the uh, NECA Gypsy Danger here. Um, battle damage one, I forget which one. Anchorage attack, I think. And then here is the Diamond Select Gypsy Avenger. So, and that guy is really tall. So, as you can see, oh, Gypsy Avenger, why won't you stand for me? Oh, that's, that's not good. There we go. A little, uh, little thrust in action there for you. <laughs> um, and here is the Robot Spirits. Gypsy Avengers. So as you can see, very, very big. Very big. Um, and if, if you, I have him here because I took a picture of him before. This the Soul of Chogokin. Gypsy Danger. So there you go. Very big. I mean, I think he actually stands pretty well with Gypsy Danger there. So, but let's take a look at the look of this guy. Came with stickers, which was, they're actually pretty good, very easy to apply. And they look good. I just did it with my hands. Yeah, some of them are not quite perfect, but it's fine. I did. I think I did a decent job for doing my hands. Eh, that's not quite aligned. What are you gonna do? Um, that's what a little better, but the stickers are actually very nice. You know, they gave you quite a bit of them. So, and, and, you know, again, not so bad, especially for, you know, a brick toy and even has stuff on the sides and the back. So you do get some little holes here and there. There was, um, some leftover pieces that came with this, which was good. Uh, because there's a lot more actually here, just extra stuff. Uh, and there's his hand as well. You get an extra hand. I'm not, I'm not gonna take it out, but um, yeah, you get a bunch of extra pieces, which is good. And then uh, I was able to like at least use a couple to like cover up some of the bricks, which I did strategically around in the front, uh, which I thought was a good good thing, you know. So very nice there. This piece comes out a lot. These pieces right here, one, two, and this whole combination of pieces right here, that's definitely all getting glued down. <laughs> There's a sticker on here, on this little reactor there, as well as here. They look really nice on top of these yellows, uh, the yellow pieces, which is good. The head sculpt, let's talk about the head sculpt. It's actually really cool. Uh, the gold eyes are very nice. You got right up here. It's nice. I like that he is the lightest color of the Gypsy Avengers that we've gotten. It's like this guy, then Robot Spirits, and then the darkest one is the uh, the Diamond Select. But yeah, he has more stickers over here, which are nice. But I like, you know, the, the use of the red um, bricks that, like, kind of just make a lot of nice color separations. Oh, that's the sticker, but like in here and up here, you can see it's so really good. It just, it makes it feel, it makes it feel like, you know, a nice painted figure, it, you know, pretty cool. I, I, I dig it a lot. 
Yeah, it's not bad, guys. Looks wise, again, and, you know, he's light, but he's got, you know, some size. Doesn't really feel hollow or anything, you know, so that's cool. Um, yeah, he's a good looking figure. He has, uh, he did come with, see, here, this part comes out a lot too. That's gonna get the crackle. Um, like I said, he's got his plasma cannon deal thing, or gravity sling. I don't know, I can't remember which exactly one. It, this one particular one is he uses both so but you guys can let me know and <laughs> this swings open this I couldn't figure out but I figured it out myself I mean the directions were bad but I like how these look like claws here oops sorry. fine if that's the only thing that falls apart <laughs> during this review uh, I really like how these claws look and they're articulated as you see we'll just take a look at the articulation there open 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 you know you could do that. This is a nice translucent blue, which is great. Really nice looking, for sure. I, I just like how his arms look. You know, they're all on ball joints. Ah, now I got two pieces that broke off. I mean, I would definitely use this configuration instead of the two hands, because that looks really nice. Um, and the regular hand <laughs> looks a little silly. Look at these things. They are uh, articulated, which is good. Let's pop that back on. Let's not pop that back on because uh, he's about to fall over and that would be disastrous. So yeah, they are articulated, uh, which is good, which is nice. Uh, you know, and you got a ball joint there, ball joint there, and a ball joint at the shoulder. We're doing a little bit of everything in this one, guys. Just trying to make do and get through. Whoa, that whole front piece fell off, but that's fine. Yeah, good range of motion. Nothing in the waist part. Don't try to move it at all. <laughs> head is also on a ball joint. Oh, and then the head could come off really easy because of this joint here. Struggle is very real, my friends. Now you can see what I'm talking about. Try to pop the head back on, and we have disaster. So I'm gonna take a break here. <laughs> you won't uh, see the break, you'll see it all together in the next part. But yeah, I I'm going to bed now because, um, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. We shall uh, continue this tomorrow. And almost 24 hours later, I'm back at the review desk. Uh, this guy's all built up. I meant to launch this review right back to back with the speed build, but that's okay. Let the speed build breathe a little bit. I had the Batmobile review ready to go. I had filmed that late last week, actually. So it was good to get that out. Perfect. Boom. Hope you dug that one. If you haven't, go check it out, please. <laughs> uh, that's a cool piece. But, you know, it did get me, and that disaster was what I was talking about, like, that I've gone through a few times already with this, and why I'm definitely, definitely going to be gluing down a lot of pieces. Um, the, the base of the head is not easy to get back in. And my suggestion is if you get this and the head pops off with that base piece, separate the head, the ball joint, uh, the head and the ball joint from the base and put the base in first. Because otherwise it is so hard and it's just going to explode. So yeah, I mean, if, if this is not what happens, if you were, what you're seeing here is not what happens when you build your Legos, they stay together perfectly, then, you know, I'm guessing this is like lower quality in bricks. 
again, I don't know. I don't do Legos, you know, like I did when I was a kid. Uh, and my son doesn't really do Legos. He doesn't really care for them that much. He has some blocks, but they're, you know, he hasn't really gotten super, super into Legos. Uh, even when I built this, it doesn't really seem like he cared that much. He would just walk away and come back uh, to see progress, you know. But having that happen, I did, I was able on this try, it was able to get this piece in a little better than uh, I did the first time. Still a little apart there, but it was actually worse. Um, so yeah, see right there, it's still a little apart right in there. I'm not gonna force the issue right now, but that's the part I'm gonna take out, definitely. I think I'm gonna heat it up and try to make it stay better, and then boom, that is definitely gonna be a piece I'm gonna glue in. If you guys that do this stuff uh, know of any glues that work well, or if it just like, if this, I, I could look it up too. I could look up, but you know, if you have experience with like gluing Legos, <laughs> seriously, the only experience I have is from the Lego movie with the crackle. But I have a uh, super glue here, you know, I, I like Loctite, uh, so I might lock this pretty tight. All right. So let's get going again because we, you saw the head, it has some motion, be careful. It is on a ball joint, but it is hindered a little bit up there. Um, let's bring this guy a little closer here. These little parts are really cool. I was just kind of doing an all around, uh, and it is a little earlier than it was yesterday when I was filming this, and that's good because I, I, I'm, I you know, listening back to those first couple parts, definitely a little bit too tired, probably started this too late. I really just wanted to do it, you know, but, and uh, I had a trouble getting started because he came apart initially. So there's that. Um, but yeah, back again. We showed you. I showed you the articulation in the shoulder. Really good ball joints. You kind of could come in on it as well, almost like a butterfly joint, which is very nice. I'm really trying to be gentle here, guys. <laughs> um, these uh, and the elbow joints aren't. And they're good, but like these parts here on the side kind of hinder it a little bit. So there's that. He does have a really nice upper body sculpt and it looks really good. Straight down the middle here, that looks really cool. I like all this, how it looks. I like what the stickers do there. Uh, like I said earlier, these pieces like to tend to fall apart, but they do open up if you need them to. I don't know why you would need to. These are really, these are articulated here to kind of get out of your way a bit, which is cool. On the back here, uh, these like wing pieces are all kinds of articulated. Um, ah, to so get like articulate here, ratcheted. Ouch! I don't know where that fell. I mean, I, yeah, there it is. Um, so yeah, there's that. They are articulated, ball jointed here. Ratcheted here. I don't know what you would do with these exactly, uh, but you could do some stuff with them. You know, ratchet down in here, fire. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> um, the legs. He could do full splits with the legs, which is cool. Kicks out pretty far, goes back decently enough as well. Can rotate in them as well. This is a part that I put in on top. Maybe it just weighs it down a little bit more, but it's not so bad. I like it. I like how this little covering looks. Um, yeah, not bad. The legs look pretty cool. The feet look a little odd, in my opinion, but it's not bad. It has some nice color separations there. Little knee pads and stuff. Again, the stickers on the back look really nice. You got this interesting thing down here. I don't know why they needed it and what it does. But that's all it does. It's got a little wee wee. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. Um, the knees are on giant ball joints and you could make them go any which way you want, but that's good for uh, posing and stuff. This joint, I, I must mention actually, uh, gets a little weighed down by by uh, the cannon here, or gravity sling again, whatever. Um, I, I don't know. So 
when it's open, I feel like it definitely pulls down on it a little bit more so than normal. Um, oh, this back piece. Let's check. Oh, no. Please don't fall apart on me. Okay. This little back piece likes to... <laughs> this is... Yeah, this is great. This is an awesome review, guys. But hey, I mean, you need to see this stuff. Again, $18.99, though. Big... You decide if it's worth it. I still, despite all my frustrations, I do like it. So, you know, you got ankle pivot and all that. If he wants to fall apart, he could fall apart because that's what he's gonna do. Okay, gang, let's end this with some real talk to end it. This might be the most frustrating uh, project I've had to deal with <laughs> while I've done Ultra Zilla toys here. Um, I've always known I'm not the type for uh, building things, model kits, all that. I am, uh, I get frustrated, you know, I go, you know, and this thing has put me through the paces, as you just saw. Um, but that's okay because you know we're not all the same please take anything you see here at, at, of any value and use it towards your you know decision if you want this if you're a pacific rim fan you know and think this is cool and think my experiences are normal with this type of stuff then no go ahead and buy it you know like i can still recommend it it is 18.99 shipped i mean it was at least i don't i don't know i mean it could be even cheaper i don't know again i got it on aliexpress um for that price it didn't come with a box um but it came with the you know all the baggies and the stickers and the booklet um i still really like it the all i wouldn't I probably would have given up on this thing if I didn't like it, but it's got presence and it's pretty cool. And it actually looks good in pictures with the soul of Chogokin, which is like a ridiculous amount more. It's not of that quality, obviously, as you, you've seen, but I like it, you know, I like it enough uh, to say I can recommend it. I, I like it enough where I'm actually, you know, I keep, you know, saying I'm gonna use the crackle, the super glue on it. I am because I like it that much, and I really want it to be on my display. And I think it's cool. I just don't want it to fall apart like it does. So I'm definitely gonna glue down a lot of pieces. I'm gonna figure out this middle piece, which is the biggest craziness of it. Because um, once that middle piece falls apart, pff, explosions. Um, so yeah, it's a good looking piece. It's got a lot of nice stickers. The sculpt is actually really good. I mean, the feet are a little weird. This hand is a little weird, but I don't really mind it that much because it's just a different look and it's very robotic looking and that is cool. And I definitely like, even though I was fresh, I, I also understand this is like my first time in my adult life <laughs> doing something like this. Um, so, I understand that, and I but I want to do that stuff more because I, while I was doing it, I, I mentioned this earlier, it was a relaxing experience, and I thought it was kind of fun to see where the build goes and how it all comes together. So, and I think engineering wise, it's pretty pretty cool. Could they have done some things a little differently? Probably, but if it wasn't for a couple of the QC things that I deem as QC, um, then I think I would have like I I think this would have been really awesome, um, and it's still pretty cool, you know. Uh, so take that as you will. Um, wow, my shoulder cracked. Did you hear that? Uh, <laughs> um, his hand is articulated too. Uh, all the fingers are articulated. Did I mention that before? I think I did. And there's a ball joint at the wrist, just to make sure you guys know, because uh, I, I covered everything else. Um, so yeah, I, I I dig this guy. He's cool. Definitely, I think you, you know if you this stuff doesn't bother you and you're a builder, you're probably gonna have a better experience than I have. Um, but there you go. I think that's my review. I needed to end this like this. I want to I want to talk like this a little bit. I I, I 
I kind of like this view more than when I was doing, when I experimented with this before. I, all I did was like flip my camera around um, right now. So yeah, there you go. That's my review. I think it's good looking enough. The articulation is really cool actually. Uh, the build was fun. Uh, it's just the falling apart is, is the thing that makes me completely crazy and made me a lot fresh, made me frustrated uh, with it. So it's like one of those Menza Menza reviews, you know? Here's what it is. All right, so I think I covered everything I wanted to say about it. I think so. <laughs> if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. All right, so please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, Pacific Rim Uprising is out on Blu-ray, I believe now. So yes, it is. Uh, so, you know, go get it if you if you like it. I like it a lot. I really do. I'm planning to get it. I want to get the steel book. So, um, there you go. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share once again. And until next time, peace out, peeps.